Dear CG thinkers, welcome. We are going to make this texture, which will be useful if you make a little sci-fi rendering. Even if it's not the case, the technique used will interest you. It is written in the title, but I specify again that this video uses my add-on materializer. Because I know you are curious, before making the texture, I will take a few seconds to show you how I modeled the cloth. I used my add-on Fluent with the following simulation parameters. You can pause to take the time to copy them if you are interested. I select my hexagon, and then I select the faces and I press the Enter key. The simulation starts and ends by itself. It's not more complicated than that. Now it's time for the texturing. It has now become a reflex. It has now become a reflex to start by editing a new layer. The button uh, is located in the pie menu available with the F key. As you can imagine, as far as the color is concerned, we will simply choose black. Second step, the normal map. What we want is to get a plastic fabric effect. If you go to the pattern section uh, or the fabric section, you will find the polyester node. If you are new to Blender, go activate the Node Wrangler add-on in the Preferences. Once activated, you can Ctrl Shift left click on a node to display its output directly. By clicking several times on the same node, you will be able to review all the outputs. Looking at the height output, we can see the presence of fibers, which is not necessary in your case. For plastic effect, we will reduce the fiber straight slider to zero. You only have to adapt the straight and scale of the pattern to your case. That's it for the base, a plastic fabric effect. Now let's add the sci-fi touch. In the materializer library, let's go to the pattern section to choose the hexagonal pattern. Still using the shortcut Ctrl Shift left click, I look at the height output. We can see that the pattern is distorted. This is because for the moment, the texture coordinates use the, the object coordinates. I move this slider to use the UV. A small aside that is somewhat obvious to some, but uh, I am also thinking of complete beginners. Even if it's a procedural texture, it's necessary to unwrap the UVs for a correct result. To make it very simple, remember this. Everything that is repeatable patterns need UVs, simply because these patterns are based on mathematical operations along two axes, and not three. The idea is now to use this pattern to vary the roughness of the fabric. To do this, I propose to use the mask output that we will connect to the input of a map range node. We set the output values between 0.2 and 0.5 before connecting the output of this node to the roughness input of the layer. A quick word about the node map range. This is probably one of the nodes I use the most. It allows you to modify the amplitude of the input values. Here, for example, the input is an image whose values are between 0 and 1. 
this image is transformed into another one whose values are between 0.2 and 0.5. We continue with uh, the addition of little nuance in the reflections. Let's add a grunge map. Actually, it doesn't matter which one, it all depends on the effect you want. For the example, I'm going to use the grunge 3, but you, really, you can really use whatever you want. Once again, what matters most here is the technique. I set the output values of these nodes between 0 and 0 0.3. I combine the two roughness maps with a matte node set to add. As a bonus, I will show you how to use another pattern instead of the hexagon while staying in the sci-fi style. In the pattern section, let's look for the triangular pattern. Reuse the node map range by duplicating it with the shortcut Shift D and use it instead of the previous one. Notice that here the matte and shiny parts are reversed. This is because the output of the triangular node produces a white pattern on a black background while the hexagon node produces a black pattern on a white background. To invert the result, Simply invert the first two sliders of the map range node. We find the previous style, but this time with triangular pattern. One more material to save, save it well. If you don't have my add-ons yet, the links are in the description. Don't hesitate to visit the Discord, it's the best place to find help and I'm always happy to see your achievements. It's always very nice to see that the tutorials have been uh, completed. If you haven't already done, subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. We will see you soon because we get tired of everything except learning. Bye bye.